Hey, how's it going guys? So here we have the semi-finals of the Fire and Dice Invitational that happened this weekend. On our left we have Collins and on our right we have Francisco. Both of them are running Zoroark uh, Lycanroc, which are very, very strong decks moving forward into the meta. Uh, even after Celestial Storm, they're still holding on. They're still holding their zone. So yeah, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Collins. Uh, Collins was the young, the youngest player to make top eight uh, at the Inventational out of uh, 32 players. Um, so props to him. Uh, good job, Collins. Uh, I'm very proud that you were able to succeed at this tournament and I'm pretty sure we're going to see really amazing things from you as the days come as, as the days come. So yeah. So keep on going and you're going to be great, dude. But yeah. So Collins is going to start us off. He's getting an Ultra Ball, discarding a Mallow and a Choice Band, getting a Lele for that Bridget start. Uh, going to go for two Zoras and a Rockruff. Already to a really good start. Uh, that's pretty much the board that you want to set up. Um, we do see a parallel also come down and we see a DC. Um, the DC is great, uh, but it also puts you at risk. The Lele, the Lele just needs a DC and it does knock you out and then you're out of DC. Uh, so maybe not the best play, but we'll see how it plays out for him. Um, Francisco did get a Lele uh, start, uh, but he doesn't get one to drop, but he did open up with that Bridget from his hand. So it's really good for him because that means one more bench space for him to uh, to have. But he's under parallel, so it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, we do see a strong in or we do see a fighting energy on a rock roof, and he ends up passing. So we see a Cynthia uh, from Collins. So he's shuffling, drawing six. We're gonna see an evil soda. Go down for a Zorark. We do see Bridget. Or we see Trade. Sorry. And then Ultra Ball gets rid of Max Potion and Zorora. Went for a Lycan Rock and gonna take down this uh this Rock Roof. Very good, very smart on his behalf. Uh getting rid of that um that Lycan Rock before it even comes out because later on it does become a nuisance. So and he doesn't really have to deal with the Zoarks because he has the Lycan Rock ready to go anyway to knock that out as well. So yeah, so we do see uh, Francisco Ultra Ball for a Lele, Lele for Cynthia, and he's gonna draw six. We are gonna see a Field Blower. So now he has board space. Uh, now that he's not under parallel, we're gonna see a trade. We see a Rock Rock come down with a strong energy, and that'll be it for his turn. Uh, we see double puzzle from Collins. Going back for that parallel, knows very well uh, if he has parallel up and running, that's going to put his opponent in a very bad and awkward position. He's trying to figure out what else he wants to go for. He's going for an evil soda. So you're going to see the parallel evil soda. Uh, goes for a Zork. Goes for the end. So they're both going to shuffle. Collins is going to draw five, and Francisco is going to draw six. We are going to see trade. Are we going to see a second trade? And third trade. Are we going to see the enhanced hammer gets rid of the strong energy, puts down a strong energy of his own, and does 100. So this is Francisco's turn. Francisco is kind of against the wall right now, uh, not being able to have energies long enough on the board for him to do anything. So we are going to see Reverse Valley to get rid of that Parallel. So now he has board space, which is good. We did see a trade getting rid of Delinquent, and he drew two cards. It's not looking good for Francisco right now. He has to make a very big and strong play to kind of like recover from this. Now we are seeing Ultra Ball.
goes for a Zorak. I think he had a Malo in his hand. He was debating playing it. He ends up committing to the Malo, which is good. Um, honestly, in this position, I don't know if he runs it or not, but uh, DC or not DC, um, Lycan Rock, uh, Hammer would probably be the two cards that I would go for. Uh, the Hammer to get rid of either the DC or the Strong Energy, and then the Lycan Rock to bring up another Pokemon. So we do see Trade gets rid of the Max Potion. We do see Double Puzzle. Gets a Lele and I believe it was Max Potion. Yeah. DC on the Lele. Enhanced Hammer. There we go. Gets rid of that uh, that strong energy knowing that it's going to be a threat later on. And kept the Lele in his hand. That he brought back from Puzzle. We do see a Cynthia from Colin. So he's going to shuffle up and draw six cards. We see Choice Band come down. We see Trade. Trade again. And Trade one more time. Oh, we do see the Enhanced Hammer get rid of the DC from the Lele. And does 100 damage. Or 130. So we do see the Lele from Francisco. Gonna go for that Cynthia. Attaches DC to Zoark and plays Cynthia with a clean hand. So he's gonna shuffle up and draw six cards. Probably searching for a float stone. Uh, so he can get this Lele out of harm's way and get a clean knockout off of the Zoark. So we see one trade. See two traits. Did he get it? Looks like he didn't get it, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah. So now, now it sucks because like he did all that work, and all he needed was a float stone to kind of get a hit on this uh, Zoark. Uh, but regardless, uh, that Lycan rocks up and running thanks to the DC that he that Collins dropped. We do see a Guzma. Lycan Rex coming up and boom gets a knockout on that Zorark. So that Zorark is done for today uh, Lele comes up with a DC's choice ban gonna do some retaliation to his fallen Zorark that just left the field we do see an ultra ball from Francisco Gonna go for Zorua We're gonna see Lycan Rock no ability we see Cynthia so he's going to shuffle up, draw six cards. Very, very explosive turns from Francisco. Uh, really showing that he's not really out of this match just yet. Francisco ends up scooping it up. Because uh, he knows that he he is in a really bad position and can't come back. So he's... He's also They're both also under time. So it's very smart from Francisco to kind of scoop it up to... Go into the next game, so then he gets an opportunity to make a comeback. So they're gonna go into game two. Uh, Colin's taking the first win. I just have to say, Colin's played it really smart, like going for that rock rough early on in the match. I think that's that's kind of what gave him the advantage, and also being able to target like uh, the the what's it called the strong energy from the other rock rough. I think just having that control really really uh want him this match so they both open up lele but uh francisco does get that bridget start going for two rock roughs this time gonna concentrate more on the rock rough to dominate this match uh and went for one zorora oh but he had another zorora in his hand so i guess that's why he went for two rock roughs but still it's a good choice on his part uh we are seeing ultra ball discard lele discard n and guzma Going for a Lele, Bridget start from Collins. We, we do see a Rock Ruff and two Zoras. We are going to see a Choice Ban and pass. 
Uh, we do see the lichen rock come up on the rock roof and the lichen rock's already taken down a knockout. So he knocks out the rock roof and we do see uh, puzzles from Collins and he brings back uh, the rock roof and then plays Cynthia. So he'll shuffle up and draw six cards. So we do see uh, Zoroark, we do see Trade, we see Parallel, we see Trade, we see DCE, Choice Span? No Choice Span. So 100 damage was clean across the board. So we do see Ultra Ball from Francisco. He's debating if he wants to go for a Lycan Rock, get rid of the Zoarks, or if he wants to go for a Zoark and start trading. It's a very tough decision for Francisco. Um, I honestly, I would probably go for another Lycan Rock. Just to, pl I I've been playing it safe lately. Um, Uh, so we did a trade and he did get rid of DC. I don't know if that was the wisest thing to do, but he ends up getting the knockout. So here we see Zoark. Right now it's maxing out at 100 damage, so we do need another Pokemon on the bench to knock out this. Oh no, it has a choice band. Oh no, never mind. It's knocking it out. Uh, so we do see Ultra Ball. Probably gonna go for. Oh, Azura. Okay. Goes for Sarua and knocks out the Lycan Rock. So Frankie drops down the Rock Roof, gets a Zork, for Cynthia's for a clean hand. Francisco with these clean hand Cynthia's. God bless you, man. <laughs> but yeah. So he drew six, we do see Field Blower, gets rid of the Choice Span Parallel. We see Trade, gets rid of that Reverse Valley. We do see Zora come down, we see a second Trade. So this is where Francisco, Francisco gets punished for throwing away that DC. Uh, when I saw him trade that away, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, so he pulls up, he plays like, uh, Collins plays like a rock, pulls out the rock roof because he knows that's going to be a threat later on. He wanted to drop down the Orangaroo, but decides to use it as trade fodder. We're going to see a Mallow into two cards, and then he's going to trade into them. And that more than likely is going to secure in this match. He's trying to figure out what is the second card he wants. He already knew what the first card he wants. Very, very quickly grab that. Uh, puts them on top. We do see a trade. Gets them t those two. We see another Zoark choice span and gets a knockout on the rock roof. That puts both of them at three prizes. This match is really close. Francisco needs a win to kind of get out of his losing streak because he already lost the first one. So hopefully he can make a very strong move and come back from it. Uh, we do see trade. see a second trade come on Francisco I know you can do it I believe plays an ultra ball goes for probably a lichen rock and you have two choices lichen rock or zero rock or a lele Hmm. Spicy Lele. Goes for the decides to go for the Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock pulls up the Lycan Rock. Okay. Drops down Lele. Gonna get a supporter added to his hand. Goes for Cynthia.
not looking too good. Um, Collins just needs a DC and he'll be able to clean the Zorg. Uh, we do see DC and he does 100 across the board. So we do see the DC come down from Collins and he's going to get a clean hit off this Zorg right now. I think retreating because I did see the flow stone in Francisco's hand. Retreating into the Lele probably would have been the stronger play. Um, but at the same time, there was enough Pokemon on the bench for Collins to use this GX. So uh, it wasn't looking too good for him regardless. So we do see a Cynthia from Col uh, from Francisco. He's going to shuffle up and draw six cards. Trade. Uh, I think I see a hammer and a puzzle. It's not looking too good. He really needs a DCE to get a knockout on this Lele. Or to get a knock knockout with this Lele. But I guess he's he's kind of stuck. So yeah, so we do see the hammer. Uh he's Contemplating on what he wants to knock out or what he wants to get rid of. If he gets rid of the strong, he can possibly have a fighting energy, and that'll that'll still secure the win for Collins. If he gets rid of the DCE, uh, he might still have DCEs left. It's unfortunate that I just saw that puzzle, and there was another puzzle on there. So Francisco concedes, and that wraps it up for this match. Collins ends up being victorious 2 0s Francisco in the semifinals, in the quarterfinals of the Fire and Dice Invitational. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video with anybody that wants to know how the Invitational, how the top eight of the Invitational went. With that said, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.